ester hydrolysis mechanisms part 2 myself dr vt joy first we will discuss al2 type mechanism acid catalyzed rk cleavage second order the first step of this mechanism is the protonation here and this step is followed by attack by the water molecule on R dash to produce a neutral carboxylic acid sorry this is not R hydrogen that is arising So the next step is the deprotonation to produce neutral alcohol molecule. Next, BAC one type mechanism, base catalyzed as a cleavage. Starting. The first step of the mechanism, which is also the slower step, the molecule splits like this to form an acetylene carbocation and an alkoxide ion. So here, as a cleavage takes place. Now this. Oxalium carbonium ion is attacked by hydroxyl ion to produce a molecular carboxylic acid. And in the next step, this Alkoxide ion abstracts a proton from carboxylic acid to form a carboxylic ion and a neutral alcohol molecule. Next, we have BAC2 type mechanism. Base catalyzed, as a cleavage, and second order. The first step of the mechanism is the attack by the hydroxide, which is carbonyl carbon, to form a tetrahedral intermediate. And this is also the slower step. And hence, it is a second order reaction. The next step in this tetrahedral intermediate decomposes to form a neutral carboxylic acid molecule and an alkoxide ion. As we have seen in the last mechanism, 
this alkoxide ion abstracts the proton and the carboxylic acid to form a carboxyl ion and an alkyl molecule. Next, BAL1 dimethyls, base catalyst, alkyl cleavage, and first order. So in this mechanism, the first step is the alkyl cleavage to produce a carbonium ion and a carboxylate ion. And the next step, this carbonium ion is attacked by hydroxide ion to form an alcohol molecule. Here this is the sour step and it is a first order reaction. Next, B a2 mechanism, base catalyst, alpha cleavage, and second order. Here, hydroxide attacks here and forms carboxylate ion and an alcohol molecule. So there is only one step in this mechanism. Now let us discuss details of AAC1 type mechanism. This mechanism occurs only in some rare cases where R is very bulky and sterically hinder the acyl carbon for bimolecular nucleophilic attack. A stress of mesotoic acid has been found to undergo hydrolysis by this mechanism. This is mesotoic acid ester and this carbon is sterically hindered by these two ortho methyl groups. Another evidence for acyl cleavage comes from the fact that mesotoic acid depresses the free sibuana sulfuric acid four times as much as that predicted from a small glass mass, indicating that. It ionizes according to the following scheme, producing four particles from one acid molecule. Here, first step is the protonation here, and one hydrogen sulfate ion is produced, and this species splits into acetic carbocation and water, and water abstracts the proton from sulfuric acid, and one more hydrogen sulfate is produced here, along with the formation of hydronium ion. So, totally, there are four ions produced. Two hydrogen sulfate ions and one hydronium ion and one acylium carbocation. On the other hand, benzoic acid suppresses the free sibuana sulfuric acid only by two, showing that it ionizes producing only two ions as shown in the following equation. So here Acylic carbocation is not formed, but sulfuric acid just protonizes benzoic acid and it produces only two ions. As we can conclude that as a cleavage that takes place only in the case of mesotoic acid. Another proof is provided by the observation that mesotoic acid is formed when a solution of methyl mesotoic and sulfuric acid is poured into water. But the benzoic acid is not obtained from methyl benzoate under similar conditions. So when we add mesotoic acid ester to sulfuric acid, sulfuric acid proton is here and this is followed by splitting to produce acetylene carbonium ion. And this acetylene carbonium ion is attacked by water when it is poured into water and it forms mesotoic acid. Next, AC2 type of acid. 
It is the most common mechanism for acid catalyst, ester hydrolysis, and for cis ray tetrahydral intermediate. Next, AL1 mechanism. This mechanism occurs very readily when R dash can easily come from a stable carbonium ion. That is, when R dash is tertiary, allyl, benzyl, and this is the most common mechanism for acid catalyst hydrolysis vesters of tertiary carbons. This mechanism has been controlled by kinetic studies, OIT labeling, and isomerization when R dash is a penny group. Secondary and eventually acetates hydrolysis by AC2 mechanism dilute sulfuric acid, but the mechanism is AL1 in concentrated sulfuric acid. Next, AL2 mechanism. This mechanism has not actually been observed in ester hydrolysis. This is probably because it requires water to act as a nucleophile in any ascent process. And water being a weak nucleophile, this is quite unlikely to happen. Next, BSC1 mechanism. This mechanism has also not actually been observed in estrogen. This may be because it is an SN1 mechanism in which a xylem carbocation is produced in basic medium, while an alkoxodion acts as a leaving group. Both are extremely unlikely. Next, BAC2 mechanism. This is the most common mechanism for base catalyst ester hydrolysis and proceeds through a tetrahedral intermediate involving acyclivage. Thanks for watching.